What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the FNG Academy. Buck here from Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the dreaded NTR never to return. Whew. That would suck. But before we do, this video is sponsored by 18 Alpha Fitness. Kevin is insanely overqualified to be teaching you guys how to get fitter, faster, stronger, and avoid injuries. Um, he has a master's degree. He currently teaches Air Force Special Operations. He's a prior 18 Alpha, um, and he's an amazing dude. So go check him out, sign up, learn how to not only get stronger and increase your chances for getting selected physically, um, but learn how to do injury prevention. You guys all know my story. I got hurt in uh, Ranger selection, and it took a long time to heal up and to come back and be able to go to SFAS. So do yourselves a favor, go follow someone like Kevin at 18 Alpha Fitness and learn how to prevent injuries so you get selected the first time, unlike me. All right, guys, I just got back from doing a book signing and seminar, and it was awesome to be able to meet some of you guys and sign your books and hear your positive words. It meant a lot to me. Uh, I, I met some parents of Riley and Dee Dee. Uh, they came to get signed books, but unfortunately, Riley and Dee Dee, two young girls, 12 and 13, um, they couldn't make it, but apparently they're fans of the channel and I really appreciate it. So Riley and Dee Dee want to be uh, special forces and may not be getting the encouragement and motivation that they need. So Riley and Dee Dee, I'm here to tell you that it's your life to live and I hope that you guys accomplish your dreams, whatever that may be. And if you guys want to be special operations, just know there's guys like us that have been there, done that, and we fully support you. So go chase your dreams and don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. All right, guys, like I said, today we're going to talk about the dreaded NTR. So in SF, that means never to return. Once you get that stamp, it's a wrap. You're done. Your career is not going to be SF anymore. So how do you get that NTR? Well, you can go to selection up to three times. On the third time, if you do not get selected, you will receive an NTR. Um, and then that's, that's it. So, you know, if you want to be a Green Beret and you get that NTR, like I said, you're not going to be able to go to selection anymore once you've gotten that. Can you get an NTR without going three times? Yes, you can. If the cadre feel that you've done something that's just in such a uh, blatant violation of our morals and principles uh, within the special operations community, they can stamp you NTR. Some of those things would likely, if I was cadre, would likely be ethical violations. Listen, guys, at the end of the day, we need to be honest to each other. Um, in, in this community, we have to have a high level of honesty and a high level of ethics. It's important for operating. It's important for trusting each other and knowing that we all have each other's backs. So if it was me, if I saw someone blatantly cheating or blatantly lying, um, I would be pretty determined to give them an NTR. However, if you're just lacking in performance or we just think that you need more experience or whatever, you're highly unlikely to get NTR'd. But the for sure way is after your third time going to selection, you don't get selected. Somebody asked me recently, how many times does an 18 x-ray get their chance to go through selection? And what I'm assuming that they're meaning by that question is how many times does an 18X get to go as an 18X? Like, do they get to go there three times before they go to regular army? And the answer is no. So you're gonna get your one shot as an 18X. If you don't get selected, you're gonna go to regular army, likely as an 11 Bravo, uh, but technically it's needs of the army. From there, you're gonna have to put in as a regular army guy and do your packet all over again to go back to selection. A lot of guys that don't make it their first time as 18Xs go to 82nd Airborne. Why is that? Because they're already infantry qualified, they're already um, airborne qualified, and that's the closest base. So what happens once you get NTR'd? Is all hope lost of ever being part of the special operations community? Well, that's on you. It's entirely up to your attitude and your perception and your motivation. If you get NTR'd, no one is saying that you are just the worst person on the planet and you'll never make any special operations community ever. What they're saying is you're not right for that community. So maybe you're not displaying what Green Berets want or that cadre didn't see in you what they're looking for, but that doesn't mean that you can't go and be a good fit for the Ranger Regiment, go to the Marines and try for one of their special operations or PJs or whatever. The doors only close permanently to you if you allow it to be. Throughout our lives, we're always going to have doors shut in our face and it's up to us 
to go pull on as many of those handles and try to get as many doors open for ourselves as possible. So if you get NTR, that doesn't mean it's the end of the road, but again, it could be if your mentality and your motivation suffer and you can't find it in yourself to keep attacking. So yes, this whole NTR can happen to you and it can be uh, a shitty experience. When I was in selection, uh, we did have a guy who was on his third attempt and he had family that were SF prior to him, but he did it to himself. He was always taking the easy route anytime we had uh, an event during team week. He finished selection through all three times. He got to the end and was never selected. Uh, if you guys remember that story where he was the map guy, even though we knew where to go, and he just, the whole time he just walked out in front. Oh, okay, guys, we got to make a right uh, in half a mile. It's like, dude, we know we got to make a right in half a mile. We see the other team making a right in half a mile. Like, we don't need you uh, holding the map, walking in front of us, telling that. What we need you is to put your hands on this apparatus and help push because it's heavy as all hell. So, unsurprisingly, the third time uh, he got NTR'd. And you know what? Maybe he grew from that experience. He grew from having a Green Beret tell him three times, no. I don't care that your family are Green Berets. You're not displaying the characteristics that we're looking for. So no. Does that mean he can never become special operations? He'll never be a Green Beret. But that doesn't mean he didn't grow from that experience um, and could make a great Ranger or other special operations communities. So always understand that if you think it's the end of the road, that's just you. That's your mindset and that's your mentality. There's always another way. All right, guys. I hope that helps clarify some of the dreaded NTR questions. Um, and Didi and Riley, go crush it. You're going to be awesome. Talk to you guys next time. And I can't see it clearly, but it's all good. I know.